and the blue has square combinatorial the math class. Today, we want to solve for x in the equation given to us above here. So here we have 3 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x equals to 27 to the power of x. So we're writing this given equation. We have 3 to the power of x plus 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2 x. And also 27 can be written as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Okay, now we're writing this. This can be written as 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x. Then you pull the 2 out. Remember the rule of indices that says that a to the power of m n is the same thing as a to the power of m n. Okay, so here also we have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now let y be equals to 3 to the power of x. Now we're going to plug in y when we see 3 to the power of x. So doing that here, I'm going to have y plus, this is going to be y to the power of 2 equal y to the power of 3. Okay, so now we're writing this equation here, we have y to the power of 3 minus y squared minus y equals 0. Now we form an equation like this. So forming an equation like this, here we need to factorize y hat. So factorizing y hat here we have y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. Okay, now with this we can say that y equals 0 or y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. Okay? Let me pause. I don't want to stop. Yeah, but if you don't know if you are that shit, Jimmy. Start. So now we have this quadratic equation. Now solving this quadratic equation, you can use um the method of um, quadratic formula whereby a is going to be the coefficient of y squared which is 1 b is going to be the coefficient of y which is negative 1 and my c also is going to be negative 1 okay so with this using this method that y equals minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a when you plug in the coefficient to this, so we're going to have 1 plus or minus root b squared is going to be 1 plus 4ac, which is 4 times 1 times this, is going to be what? It's going to be 4. Okay? So we have plus 4 over what? 2. So this shows that here, my y is going to be 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. So with this, we can say that we have two values for y. And what are the two values for y? That is, y can be 1 plus root 5 over 2, or y can be 1 minus root 5 over 2. So now, the first value is y equals 0, y equals 1 plus root 5 over 2, y equals 1 minus root 5 over 2 but we need to get x so coming here we have that our y equals to 3 to the power of x and don't forget that 3 to the power of x must surely give a positive value right so which is must be equivalent to y so here we have y to be 0 y to be this and y to be this 
that shows that we can only have positive value. So our y cannot be zero, okay? Secondly, y can be negative because here we're having power. Also, y cannot be one minus root five over two. So that shows that what? Y can only be equals to one plus root five over two. So that is only possible value for y. So now plugging in this as y, so my y can be equals to one plus root five over two, which is the same thing as three to the power of x. Now using this to get the value of our x, so here we have applying natural log to both sides, we have log in base 10, one plus root five over two, log in base 10, which is the natural log three to the power of x. You might, um, Remember the law of log reading that says that for this, here we can have log 1 plus root 5 over 2 equals this can come behind the log where we have log 3 log x log 3. So to get the value of x, dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is log 3. So here my s can be equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 over the log 3. So statistically, when you have log a in base 10 over log b in base 10, this is the same thing as what? Log a base b. So the same thing is going to be applied here. Here my x is going to be log in base 3, 1 plus root 5 over 2. So this is the final answer for x. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.